What's up everybody? This is a new what if. I just came up with it and it is based on Yu Yu Hakusho. Um what if Kubara and someone actually made this uh video called What If Kubara Trained with Master Roshi, the Turtle School. And I was thinking that would be pretty interesting. Okay, so we're gonna I'm not gonna take all the credit, I'm not gonna take all the his idea. I'm gonna use some of it, but I'm going to put some of my ideas on it, too, to stack it up. So, if he trained with Master Roshi, well, this is like, what if Kobar trained with Master Roshi and uh, whatever that fat dude guy is. <laughs> that, that big dude on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, what if. So, we're going to have to go back to... The uh, Genkai tournament. And the six months of training. But Kuwabara is anxious. And he's trying to figure out how to get stronger. Because um, Yusuke is getting a lot more stronger than he is. He has gotten more power. He got more stronger than Ku than um, Yusuke got more stronger than he is. And he is astounded. And he's like, how can I get strong like that? And then he bumped into Master Roshi and the guy, the swordsman, um, whatever that guy is. And he says that, uh, he bumps into Master Roshi talking to women and he says that, are you okay, old man? And he sees him getting beat up. He sees Master Roshi getting beat up and he goes up to save her, save him and he says, you're right, old man? And, uh, Kubaro's like, Oh, don't worry, you whippersnapper, I'm alright. And, uh, he goes back up, and, and he says, uh, Oh, who are you? And he says, My name's Kubaro. And he's like, Are you okay, sir? Uh, what's your name? And he says, My name is Muten Roshi. Your name's Muten Roshi. He says, oh, hello, Roshi. My name's Kuwabara. And he says, oh, Kuwabara, nice to meet you. And he says that, he says that, well, you are very, you sound, you look, you're very, you look like a strong lad. Can you uh, pick me up and take me home? He says, sure. Kuwabara would look at Kuwabara, uh, uh, not Yusuke, but uh, look at Master Roshi and picks him up and takes him home. He takes him home and then Master Roshi says, Oh, well, thank you. But Kuwabara goes up to um, Master Roshi and says, Do you know, uh, man, I'm wondering how I can get stronger because Yusuke is getting stronger and there's a bigger threat out there. And he still he goes back to him. Him talking about the getting stronger because there's a bigger threat. <clears throat> and there might be a bigger threat out there. And all he wants is to get stronger so you get his power level can gap. His power level gap can get closer. His gap of power can get closer to Yusuke's power. So Master Roshi looks at him and is like, You sound like you're puzzled. Sounds like you trying to. You're you okay, sir? Are you okay, young man? And. And Martin Rushi's looking at him. He's like, um, no, I'm just wondering. Just figuring out. Uh, I, I'm trying to get stronger. I want to get stronger because my friend, uh, my friend, his name is Yusuke. He's. Uh, his name is Yusuke. He's. His name is Yurameshi. And he's. Very strong, and he got a lot of good training. He's getting training. He's doing really. He's getting trained by Genkai, and Moto Roshi's like Genkai, huh? So he's getting stronger, and he's like, yeah. And I want to get stronger too, but no one wants to train me. And Moto Roshi's like, well, if you give me some uh, uh, dirty magazines, I can go get. I can train you. I can teach you the basic of martial arts. I can teach you my style of martial arts. And he did. 
and they he gets their dirty magazines and then they start their training. Kulabar learns like he did, like Goku did. He learns the basic of martial arts. He learns hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kulabar pulls out his spirit thingy, spirit sword. He, um, and Yoshi is actually impressed. He's like, wait, that's not a key. Like, what is that kind of power? He's like, well, in this world. And it's like, well, he said, well, Roshi, sorry. Ro and Roshi said, well, I'm not from this world. And King Yama, uh, uh, Rich Baba, uh, teleported me here. Because I looked at, na uh, stuff. I'm just gonna say stuff on, on her orb. So she's like, "Well, you you, you don't have key here, right?" And he's like, "No." He's like, "What's key?" And he says, "Well, it's like life force." And he's like, "No, we have spiritual energy." Like that. Is, people said, "Cobra was like, well, we have these spirit thingies inside of us, blowing into our bodies." That yeah, you know, spirit flowing through our body, it's really hard to control. So, Kubabar is like, Well, then show me your spiritual energy. And he pulls out his spirit sword, he pulled out a branch and turned into a spirit sword. He says, That's all I can do. And he says, Well, we'll, we'll change that. And he gets training and he learns how to use. So, after six months of training. After a couple months of training, he learns how to use spirit energy, this pure spirit energy, from this gecko. He learns how to meditate and concentrate his energy to increase his powers. And he learns martial arts. He learns the new spirit slash. And he masters the spirit sword. But he does... And he creates a, the same spirit sword from pure energy, like he did in the timeline. Yep. That's right, he created the same spirit sword of energy, but it's now stronger. And he learns martial arts. So when a new threat comes around, and after six months, he has gotten a lot stronger. People say, well, let's put that power level. Kubara in this what if is ten times stronger than he was in the original canon. He was 10 times stronger, greatly stronger, actually 15 times stronger than he was in the original timeline because he has greatly has improved his powers and he has greater training because he had someone to teach him martial arts and teaching him, the, and he learned the turtle wave, which he calls him the spirit slash. In the end. So. <clears throat> he goes to. He goes to. <sighs> go. He goes to. Uh, he meets up with Yurameshi. Yurameshi actually can sense. Kobar's senses. Spiritual sense. He can actually sense. Um, better. He actually sense. His senses. His spiritual awareness. Is ten times stronger. He can sense it. He actually mastered his spiritual senses. He can learn, sense energy. And he can sense that Yusuke has, is strong. But he and then, but Yusuke doesn't know that he's strong too. So, the same thing happens. The Genkai, uh, no, yeah, the same beast happen. Botan, Botan tells uh, Kobara, Kobara, you don't have to do this. But Kulabar is like, no, don't worry, I can, we can deal with this. And they do. So Kulabar and Genkai, no, sorry, Kulabar, oh, sorry, stupid. Uh, Kulabar and, uh, Kulabar and Yusuke go down to the tunnel where they drop down and they go to the St. Beast world. Where they meet... <laughs> Hie and Kurama. Kurama is actually impressed. Kurama, actually, Hie is actually impressed with Kuwabara, how much he gotten stronger. And he actually tested Kuwabara by using his sword, 
trying to slash him, and Kuroboro easily dodges it with ease. Kuroboro, Yusuke is like, whoa! And Kuroboro is like, I see, I see the weak human got strong. And he says, well, yeah, I'm not going to be a weak human forever. So, they smile, and they go up to the same piece. The same thing happens, Kurama ver Miku uh, yeah, Kurama versus Ku Genbu, and Genbu hurts Kurobara, but Kurobara, Kur I'm sorry, Kurama, sorry, Kurama pulls it out in the end, pulls out a win, and defeats Genbu. And then it's Kurobara's turn, but in this timeline, he is stronger than he was before, and he's much smarter. Because he remembers that he needs to think before he does things. He needs to think before he rushes in there. Like in the original timeline, Kuobar did. He needs to think. Use his head. So. So he fights Biako. Biako. The Saint Tiger. Biako. And he knows that. When he, he slashes, uh, cool, uh, slashes, um, <clears throat> slashes <clears throat> Biako once, and he realizes that he's taking his spiritual energy, so he stops doing that. <clears throat> Once, and realize that he needs to think before he does it. And he actually, instead of using his spirit sword, he just goes hand to hand combat and learns and remembers what he has taught him and just outmaneuvers, just beating the shit out of Biako, like kicking the shit out of Biako. Biako is like getting his ass beat. Like, really badly. And one punch just kills Biako in the end. So, yeah. So, he, and then the rest goes as follows. Cool, bar, uh, <clears throat> and he A versus the dragon dude. The ice dragon. <clears throat> and he beats him. And then... And actually, Kuobara doesn't sustain damage. I forgot. Kuobara did not sustain damage and when he fought Biako. No Saint Beast. No those Beast things. Because... Because he didn't want... He defeated him before he could summon them. So, yeah. So, yeah. Hey, Mama. So yeah, Kubaro, man, he's he's OP now, right now. He's taking shit out. He's taking people out. He's taking the evil that's going. And so, so he actually will be more useful then. And he learns the sword get long. Oh yeah, I forgot. He does still learn sword get long. And stuff, but he actually uses it, and now all of the spirit. Are. So those grass people still come, but <laughs> they're already up top. <laughs> they're already on the uh, in the top floor. They're all going to Sensui, but Yusuke tells them that I need to fight Sensui. Uh, yeah, Sensui, and that's how I'm gonna leave it. So, yeah. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna say one more. Okay. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna stop. Alright, Yusuke versus Sensui. It goes the same way. He gets his. He puts up a good punch. They put up a good battle. He gets hurt. And then he gets grabbed. He gets mad. And he actually starts caring about people. He unlocks his hidden potential. And hidden power. And. Starts molly whopping him. Molly whopping thing. And Kuwabara and he and Kurama are just watching. 
Just guarding the door. <sighs> the staircase. So no other people can go in. So. And then he gives up. He doesn't have to give up his life because. Kumabara <sighs> would tell him to be careful. And always be careful. So since we will always. So. And Yusuke oblige. So. Kumabara is actually trying to help. So. After a while, Sensui gets defeated, and because Kurobar didn't get sustained that much injury, he actually just molly. He just gives up some of his little bit of his energy to save Kurobar, uh, save Yusuke, to stabilize Yusuke, because he does give up his life, still does. But because Kurobar didn't sustain injury and didn't get cut and bruised and weakened. And his spiritual energy is fine. Yeah. He's good. So, yeah. you And that's how I'm going to end it. You guys, subscribe. Comment if you guys want me to make more of this. I will be happy to. And if you guys want me to make more. What if Kuwabara trained. Uh, what if Master Roshi trained Kuwabara. Or Kuwabara trained with Master Roshi. Molten Roshi in this timeline, I would be happy to. This would be just great. So, yeah. So, so Kubara, yeah. So, see ya.